everybody, and welcome back once again. Another edition of Inside the Headset. I've got with me on the phone right now the head coach of William Buck Governors, head coach Philip Shad Owens. Coach, how you doing? Doing good, Scott. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. What's going on with the governors? I'm just trying to get better every day. I think we're just taking a small step each day. And, um, you know, our goals are simply to get better every day in practice and try to win every day at practice. And, as long as we can do that, we'll make strides. And, uh, you know, we have some really good players here and a bunch of kids that are committed. And so we're just trying to take baby steps each day. Adjustment-wise, how have you done in, in settling in and, and getting used to East Tennessee football? Oh, it's great. It's a great school. We have you know, great coaches here with me, and, and uh, the kids have been terrific. And, and so it's been an easy transition to come to William Blunt High School. And, uh, you know, our family enjoys it here. It's a, it's a beautiful area. You know a great town to live in, and so it, it's been an easy transition as far as I go. As far as William Blunt, you've been through two a days, you've been through a couple of scrimmages, you've now been through a jamboree, you got Lenore City on Friday night. Where are the governors? Well, we're inconsistent right now, uh, is how I would describe it. We have a chance to really give in. Uh, I know people don't really, uh, who, who don't know very much about William Blunt High School, they haven't seen our kids, so understand we have really talented players here. Our numbers aren't where we'd like them to be. We got a, a couple, a couple less than 50 on our varsity team, uh, about 35 freshmen. But, but we have some really talented kids here. We just have to be more consistent in how we practice, and, and that'll lead to more consistency in our game. So um, that's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get better at practicing right now. Some days we're great. Some days we look like we don't know uh, what's going on. So um, <clears throat> that's the thing. That's the stride that we're trying to make, and, and our kids are slowly but surely getting there. But uh, but as far as talent level goes, we have good talent here. We're, we're, we're fit in many positions, and uh, we don't have the depth that we would like, but uh, we, we feel like we have a chance to win football here right now. Energy level is high at William Blunt right now. Um, right now, what is, what is your gut as going into the first five games? What do you got to have out of these guys between game one and two? And, and Coach, you and I have talked about this a lot. A lot of growing room between one and two. Well, sure. we got, we got to grow. we got to grow every day. And, we try to make it very simple. We've got we got to win the day, and if you do that in practice, you do that in the weight room, you do that everywhere you go, um, then you'll continue to get better and better. And that's what we have to do is we have to make strides each day. Uh, our kids from from day one to now are, are completely different, and and uh, and fundamentals and technique and, and understanding of what we're trying to accomplish on both sides of the ball. So so I don't think it's very complicated. I don't think the game is really complicated. I think you get better every day. And if you do that, you have great success. And if you're not doing that, then you're not going to be very good. So uh, we're, we're, we're taking small steps, and, you know, we're not looking long-range goals. We're looking at, you know, tomorrow, let's get better, you know, and pretty simple. Let's talk about Lenore City. What do they got coming at you, Coach, come Friday night? What is, what is their, what do they want to do? What, what do they love to do? Well, they're spread, they're spread in the field. They're usually four wide, sometimes five. And, you know, they're a jet sweep team and play action off of that. And, and, and they want to, they want to, they don't throw the ball down the field a ton. I mean, they'll be and dunk you a little bit, but then uh, they do a good job of trying to outflank you. And so you have to be, you know, disciplined defensively and make sure you get aligned. And, and I think one of the keys against them is why defense should get aligned. I mean, you know, you don't want to be in an outflank position, and uh, you know, but that they have to come back to bite you. They have some speed. Uh, the coach's son, uh, and I can't remember his name, number six. That was the coach's son. is a really athletic kid and, and can really run. And they try to use him. He's probably their best player. And, and, but they have other weapons at the skill at the skill position. So that's what they're going to do. And on defense, they're a three-four team, but they're an attacking three-four. Not too much different than what we do defensively. And uh, they're going to put pressure on you and try to get up the field and just cause you know, kind of disrupt you in the backfield. So um, that's you know, that's going to be a challenge on, on, on both sides for us. And you know, the bottom line is, you know, we have an overly focus on the North City, I and mean, we focus on what they do. You put in game plans, but. You know, right now we're way more worried about William Blunt High School than we are about whoever it is we're playing. And because we want to get better every day. And if we can do that, then, then Friday night's got to take care of themselves. But they'll certainly, you know, North City will certainly present us some problems. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, our kids have prepared extremely hard this summer and through the two days and through practice time here this fall. So, so I expect uh, I expect to play night Friday night. My kids are looking forward to it. Friday night, what do you got to have out of the governors? I mean, you know, even win or lose, I mean, just what do you got to have out of these guys as, as you progress through through the process? Uh, great effort, and I think that's easy. I think that's the easiest part of the game, but we have to have consistent effort out of our kids. And, and running, you know, defense, we got to fly with football. We'll do those things. 
uh, then we have a really good defense. If we don't do those things, then we're you know we're not very good defensively. So you know we got to fly, we got to be committed to flying to the ball and chasing the ball and putting a hat on the ball. Uh, then offensively, you know we just do what we do. You know we got always you got to protect the ball. Uh, you can't you know you can't throw it to the other team or drop it and give it to the other team. And, and you see, you have to win the turnovers, and then just to execute. We just have to find some consistency on both sides of the ball, but, it, but certainly offensively. Sometimes we look really, really good offensively, and then sometimes we look like we don't know what we're doing. So, so we're looking, you know, we're looking for more consistency in practice. And once we get better at that in practice, we'll get better at that in game situations. And so, you know, we're hoping that if we come in Friday night and play well, our, our expectation is to win the football game. Anything less than that is not good enough, and, and our kids have worked for that. So, you know, I, I certainly. Oh, we'd expect to win by tonight. Anything for the faculty, the staff, the fans, and the students as as we wrap it up here with you? I mean, anything you'd just like to say to the to the folks that have supported you and and, and brought the the governor governor pride to you? Well, no, just just turn out. We just we just want fans. You know, we want fans to be there. Our kids have worked exceptionally hard. I think they're going to put a good product on the field, and I know our kids will play hard. So. Um, you know, they need support, you know, uh, maybe had, had great support at times in the past, uh, and I don't really know that, uh, honestly, but I know we haven't had much success in the past, so, so these kids have worked hard, we, we're striving for success, they're working hard to be successful, and, and certainly I think we'll put a fun product on the field, so come out there and watch it and support those kids. Well, you know, I mean, most of all, I mean, people need to understand, I mean, uh, do, do, you know, come support Philip. just not be a fair-weathered friend, I mean, come, come for all ten, because, uh, you will. You will prevail one way or another. You will find a way. Well, you know, I, I'm not going to play. I, mean, I appreciate you saying those things. I, I don't get to play, but certainly our kids are they're committed to getting better every day. And, and, and as long as they do that, we're going to win some games. And you know, we're going to surprise some people along the way. Uh, uh, bottom line is, I, I'm not sure. I think there's been a little bit of a, an idea that uh, it's okay just to be below average and, and uh, that's just the expectation maybe to some degree and people have settled for that. Well, our kids aren't settling for that anymore. And, you know, we expect to be good, we expect to win, we expect to be competitive every Friday night and anything less than that's not going to be good enough and, and our kids understand that and we've stressed that from day one and, and so they're striving, they're striving to be great. we got to take some steps forward to get there. But at the same time, our talent level is there. We just got to simply develop some confidence and some, and some consistency. And, and as the season gets up and goes on, we're going to get better and better. I have no doubt about that. You know, hopefully we can work well, we can stay healthy. And if we can stay healthy, then by the end of the year, I think we can, uh, you know, we can be a little bit of a dangerous football team. But, uh, you know, right now we're on a learning curve, but our expectations are to win every Friday night. Well, as I'll close, I'll say to all Governor fans, uh, drink the Shatterade. I've drank it many a times, and it's okay. It'll, it, it won't hurt you, and you, you'll be fine with it. Just, just last with him. He's a great coach. We'll wrap it up here. Uh, is that at your house or at Lenore City? We're down the road about 25 minutes to Lenore City. All righty. Well, we'll wrap it up here as the governors go to Lenore City to take on Lenore City on Friday night. That's a 7.30 kickoff. Y'all join up and join Coach Shad as he goes down to take on Lenore City, and that's 7.30. See you there.